to the channel. My name is Brie. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you're here. Welcome. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification if you're really into minimalist style, French girl style, ethical style, thrifted fashion, natural organic beauty, you know, the whole nine yards. If you saw last week's video featuring the beautiful Jessica Harumi, then you know that we were doing a Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe challenge. During that challenge, we were teaching ourselves and the other participants in the challenge how to build a French woman capsule wardrobe and really how to dress like a French woman using a 10 item wardrobe. I had personally never done a challenge like that before, although I had done other 10 by 10 challenges, I never really stuck to them in the way that I stuck to this one because we were posting an outfit picture every day for 10 days on Instagram. This challenge definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone in a great way because I was able to see that the constraints of using 10 items was actually incredibly freeing. So in today's video, what I decided to do is actually to take the exact same 10 items and recreate even more outfits, unique outfits, using the same Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe. And I just want to say again a huge thank you to Jessica and to every single person that participated over on Instagram. If you haven't been following the challenge or if you are missing this video, if it's super far behind, all you have to do is go to Instagram and type in hashtag Parisian style 10 and you'll be able to see all of the beautiful outfits that dozens and dozens of women created from all around the world for this challenge. It's super inspiring if you want some outfits the inspiration and to get the creative juices flowing. I myself have far too many pieces of clothing and I found, as I said earlier, I found the constraints of this challenge super freeing. I mean inspiring and it just opened the creative doors in a way that hadn't been opened in a very long time. So not only do I want to share with you the 10 additional looks, making 20 in all, I would love to share with you guys some key takeaways and pieces of advice that I got from doing this challenge. If you've never done a 10 by 10 before, this could be very helpful. Or if you're simply contemplating doing a capsule wardrobe challenge for yourself, then I think some of these things would be really helpful and inspiring. Don't forget that YouTube has introduced a new feature where you can skip ahead to the chapters, and so I will link the chapters in the description box below if you wanna skip ahead and just see the outfits. Or if you would like to stick around and hear a few of the tips, then definitely do that. So let's go ahead and talk about the benefits. I know that we've all been staying home because of obvious reasons. Some of us have gone back to work, some of us were already working from home, but one of the biggest benefits I found from doing this Parisian style 10 by 10 capsule wardrobe challenge was that it really helped me to get dressed every single day and to feel really cute in what I was wearing. That alone has completely revolutionized my morning schedule, uh, my attitude, how much I'm moving around. I feel just better all together. I don't have to worry so much about whether or not I'm going to get organized enough to get dressed, which I know you've probably been experiencing that yourself. So I've actually been getting up in the morning, going to the clothing rack, and getting dressed. The obvious follow along from the first takeaway is that you end up saving loads of time and heartache. Because the outfit is already planned, it really requires no thought whatsoever. You just throw these pieces on and the accessories that you want. You can include accessories in your 10 by 10 or if you're like me and Jessica, you can just simply have the accessories left out. So it's just 10 articles of clothing that you're using. I personally found that it saved loads of time and heartache. So there were no more wardrobe meltdowns. There was no more wondering, should I put this with that? Or, you know, how am I going to style this thing? It was just all done for me. And that was a huge burden lifted off my shoulders and it's actually made me more productive in my business and at home. And I just think in general more confident. 
takeaway is that I am no longer in a style rut and I feel refreshed. I feel energized. I feel excited about my style. I feel like, yes, I have all the things that I need, more than I need, and just, you know, refocused on what I really love about my unique perspective and my taste. I think second guessing yourself comes from having too many options and not knowing how to style those things together. So I really recommend having like a workbook of some sort that you can journal in to create your outfit combinations or to just help yourself focus on the key pieces that you need in your wardrobe to make it go further and to make it open up. And following along that, one of the big things that I noticed is that I had the 10 items on that clothing rack the entire week. I didn't move it, I didn't change anything. It helped me to take better care of my clothes because I was hanging them up at the end of the day, which I do normally do, but you know, things can get you know placed here or there and you just forget about it. But I put the pieces back on the clothing rack at the end of the day and it was like, oh, just so simple, so simple, so no-brainer. I would just go to the clothing rack in the morning and then pop the clothes on in the outfit combination that I knew I wanted to style and then just go about my day. It was no worries, no hassle. So definitely keeping a clothing rack and nice hangers was just a really refreshing thing and just helped me get the, get the creative juices flowing but also just get things going. Just get dressed and get on your way and be done with it. Additionally, what I would like to say is that I noticed on Instagram that many of us were forced to put ourselves out there and to put our best foot forward. And one of the questions I asked during the style challenge was about having a key piece in your wardrobe that would open up multiple outfit combinations. And for me, that was the pair of high-waisted black chinos from Express. I have been really hunting for more slacks. I'm typically a jeans denim girl, and that's kind of a style safety zone for me. It's kind of a style rut for me, although I still will wear jeans to the day that I die. I do think that slacks are an important part of your wardrobe, whether they are more dressy dad style front pleated slacks or whether they're, you know, linen slacks or chinos or army fatigues or cargo pants if you want to call them that. I really do believe that they are something in your wardrobe that can open up lots of different options for you. So I heard from other women that they had cardigans. A cardigan was a key piece that they needed to get or for them it was light colored or light washed denim or trousers. You know, journaling these things out is really, really, really key and it's something that has helped me a lot. And I think again, just wrapping up everything with a big, neat bow is that doing the challenge, having the clothing rack, planning things out, finding the missing piece in my wardrobe has literally, and I mean this with no hyperbole, it has changed my life. Doing this challenge has opened up things for me and I am so excited to get you know get more productive in my day to feel more confident in my skin and just getting dressed to feel less guilty about not using the clothes in my wardrobe because we are living in such you know kind of cloistered stay-at-home work from home times just getting up and getting dressed and going to sit down at my desk even though I work from home has been revolutionary for me and I really feel like I'm just rambling on about it but I love it and I think if you work from home then you will totally benefit from doing something like this. If there are any other benefits that you think I might have missed if you were participating in the challenge, I would love to hear how the challenge affected you, like what did you get out of doing this? And if you didn't do the challenge and you're feeling like you missed out, I would love to encourage you to still participate and still use the hashtag and still tag Jessica and I on Instagram because as you can see, getting 10 more outfits out of this 10 item wardrobe was not a stretch. It wasn't a stretch at all. So that's 20 total outfits that are non-repeating. That's almost an entire month's worth of outfits. Imagine the combinations if you added in a few more pieces. It would be kind of crazy. So I'm just really looking forward to continuing to live my life in this way and to declutter my wardrobe, to get rid of the things that really aren't like the key piece for me, and to focus in on what are those key pieces. 
even more specifically. So I feel excited to share these outfits with you guys. It's, you could say it's a 20 item Parisian style lookbook. And if you didn't watch the first video, definitely go back and watch it and follow me on Instagram and follow Jessica on Instagram because we will have all of our looks basically collected there so you can go and see and get some outfit inspo. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the next 10 looks. helpful for you um, feel free to recreate any of these looks feel free to continue to post on Instagram using the hashtag Parisian style 10 by 10 tag Jessica Harumi tag Brie Lamberson get inspired and I just want to you know see where this goes I love connecting with you guys on Instagram and here on YouTube you're fantastic lovely beautiful women and I'm super, super grateful for you. If you have any specific video requests that you would like me to do in the next couple of months, definitely give me a comment in the description box below. Share this video with a friend if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification uh, so that when I release a new video, you will be the very first to know. That's actually more important than the subscriber count on YouTube. It is that bell notification icon. So I know notifications can be slightly annoying, but if you want to support the channel, that's a super small way for you to do that. So I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. I'm super thrilled about all of the cool things in store for the rest of spring and summer. And I just hope you're doing well wherever you are. I just am sending you all my love. I hope 
hope that you are taking good care of yourself and getting some self-care in. Love you very much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my rambles, and I will see you guys next week. Take really good care. Bye.